every fall when the chilies grow, we get a whole bunch of them and roast them and peel them together and then stuff them, bread them and fry them and have a bunch of people over for a chili relleno party. Some of my favorites are dishes made with sweet potatoes that we've had that are just amazing. Um, and a something called a bungy, which is like blueberry, kind of like a blueberry cobbler, but called bungy and it'll change your life. Hole in the wall in downtown LA, Southeast Asian place, a big bowl of Singaporean chili crab noodles. And we ate the whole bowl. So my mother and I used to go out every single Saturday morning to a special restaurant that made potatoes and eggs on Italian bread. We loved it in Brooklyn. When we were growing up, the Utz potato chips people would always be at the farmer's market making fresh potato chips. Um, I, I always used like some like Mexican influence in whatever I cook. I always like do something spicy. I spice it up. Russian crepes with cheese. That was, I still love it now, but I remember eating that as a kid and I absolutely love that. So a whoopie pie is a frosting sandwich where the bread, instead of bread, you basically have two fluffy pieces of chocolate cake. It's incredible. Discovering Italian pizza while living in Italy and being like, wow, I didn't know that, you know, from dollar slice to this, I didn't know that this existed. Well, usually I like sushi to eat. I'm a big, big sandwich lover, so that's why I go to my friend John at Ends Meat for the most delicious, delicious pork sandwich. Like, you take a look at this. This is fresh, it's organic, it's absolutely outstanding, and I'm jealous of myself for having this in my hands. <laughs>